set ourselves a new challenge to compete in a triathlon, but whilst trying to limit any negative impact we have on our environment. That includes our travel, our kit, and the event itself. Sounds tough? Well, it will be, especially a journey. Yep, yeah, we are going to be cycling all the way there via the headquarters of Dry Rope and No Pins to collect our kit en route. And then, of course, we have the event itself, the Croyd Ocean Triathlon. Oh, and it doesn't end there, because after all that, we then have to cycle home. It's going to be a long weekend. Okay, before you call us out on this one, we are the first to admit that as a triathlon YouTube channel, we do our fair share of traveling overseas by plane, riding carbon fiber bikes, running in new running shoes from time to time, the list goes on. However, we can still do things that can add up to make a big difference. And today, that's exactly what we're trying to do. Now, in no means are we saying that we are 100% environmentally friendly, we're doing 100% sustainable journey or adventure today, but we're doing what we can. And hopefully, in doing so, we're gonna have a lot of fun and maybe open your eyes and inspire you to do something similar. I give it a crack. So we're swapping out motor power for leg power for our little adventure today. On which note, I should probably rewind a little bit to explain exactly where we're going and what we've packed. Here we go. I've got to get all of this on there. Packing is going okay. I've done, I'm not quite sure this is how the Ultimate is supposed to be ridden. I'm only taking one spare, risky, but I haven't got much room. This is apparently a tent. Um, and it actually amazingly fits between my handlebars. I've got my wetsuit, of course. Currently have some spares, a pair of goggles, yep, I'm doing a race. Um, a head torch, my most minimal toiletries ever. You'll probably notice I haven't got my tri suit here, and that is because we're picking up from No Pins on the way through. So No Pins are actually based right beside the event or very close to so the lovely folk there have actually arranged for us to cycle through pick up our tri suits have a little chill out there and check out no pins hq maybe and then head on down so it saves a bit of weight on the way there which i'm very thankful for one other major thing you're probably wondering no sleeping bag but dry robe are very kindly sponsoring us so I, we're gonna be picking one of those up on our way and I'm hoping that that's gonna double up as my sleeping bag. I think I'm packed up. There's a lot of stuff to take. This has been hard. It's this debate of needing everything, yet I'm trying to get my bike up the hills because, yeah, have you seen my route? I'm already down in Devon at my parents' house, which does help reduce the length of the ride, but maybe not the duration. The hills around here are total leg ruiners. So that means for the first 80K, I will be solo until I hopefully meet up with Mark. Well, I have no idea why Heather is making such a fuss about her ride. I have 80 kilometers more each way. I'm heading from my home just outside Bath, and if everything goes according to plan, we will meet at our first kit collection stop in Barnstaple. We will then ride together to our next kit collection stop in Braunton, and then finally onto our campsite for the night. Yep, you heard us right, we are camping. Well, now that we're all packed, it's time to hit the road. Yeah, good. Okay, here goes. I am starting off straight up a hill into a headwind. Um, so I guess it can only get easier from here. But the bike feels secure. Nothing's falling off yet. No bits are annoying me just yet but I have cycled all of 21 meters. So I'll report back. Oh, and you're probably wondering why we've chosen the Croyd Ocean Triathlon. Well, the obvious answer, it's pretty much next door to the HQ of No Pins and Dry Robe. But actually the bigger pull is in the detail of the event. Both of these brands are doing their bit towards sustainability with Dry Robe recently becoming B Corp certified and both being based in the beautiful coastal area of North Devon, which naturally links them to the ethos of this particular race. It's owned by local charity Plastic Free North Devon, and it's not only raising money for local environmental charities, it's also leading the way in making triathlon races sustainable. In fact, it became the first plastic-free triathlon in the UK back in 2018, and is now focused on continuing to reduce the event's carbon footprint. Well, 
We're not far in, about 45 minutes in. First half hour of this ride, I averaged 270 watts because I've got to get up out of bath. It's a pretty punchy start, lugging all this kit. So conscious I need to save my effort this weekend. So I'm trying to pull it back a bit, but we've got a stonking headwind. It's a very, very blustery weekend. Uh, so much so the swim might be canceled tomorrow, which is a bit annoying because I'm lugging this wetsuit all the way there. But anyway, we'll see. Oh uh, yeah, trying to just pace this one now. One kilometer in and the forecast did not say I was going to have this headwind. <laughs> I'm on the flat going 17 kilometers an hour. I might have to speed up a bit if I'm going to meet Mark or well, he can have a leisurely lunch. I'm hoping he doesn't have this headwind all the way as well. This is ridiculous today. I haven't ridden in a headwind this bad for a long time. Maybe Lanzarote beats it, but it's just a block headwind all day. It's not like I'm doing a loop and I'm going to benefit from it at some point later on. Headwind for 180k. I'm riding like 250 watts, 60 RPM, and less than 20k an hour. Not much going on in the middle of Devon. You don't drive these roads because they're all tiny on these lovely little lanes. But I'm starting to get a bit hungry. Stopped for a delightful subway on the edge of Bridgewater. Apologies to anyone that lives in Bridgewater, but this is not the sort of place you want to hang around too long for. Anyway, um, we're a little, well, about 70K, and we ended up leaving a tiny bit late, just one thing or another. So we're a tiny bit behind schedule. Scott. Got to crack on a bit on this one. Um, so we're going to stop very quickly, eat this, and we get going. I'm off road. I mean, it's tarmac at the moment. I'm hoping Tarpa Trail has tarmac the whole way, but who knows? I'm on a road bike. I did tell my route planner that I'm on a road bike. Bunny bear. I obviously forgot to switch off gravel <laughs> when I was mapping this route. Uh, fortunately, I've got 28 mil tires on. Uh, yeah, it's cool though. I mean, it's an adventure, isn't it? Got very excited when I saw the cafe and thought the seats outside and sunny. And then I saw the menu and it didn't better because I was gonna have smashed avocado on toast with feta. And then I said it's 40 minute wait and I don't have 40 minutes. So instead, and I am having a scone, don't worry, I'm having food, but it's just not quite what I was hoping for. So I got all excited. Message Mark waiting to hear how he's getting on. So I don't know how long I actually have to, to stop here. Hoping he's doing well. There's been no news since they left this morning. It's been very quiet. Bad news, folks. I have got a slow puncture. I've risked it and only brought one spare. So uh, <laughs> let's hope this is the only one. I haven't had a puncture in years. I'm quite meticulous with my tire changes and stuff, but these things happen. It's all part of the adventure though, isn't it? So uh, hopefully this does it. So if I've done my mask correctly, I've got about 20k to go until we get to no pins. And I meet Mark and the cameraman. And then I think it's only about another 20k till we get to our campsite, obviously via dry road. Woo! God, it's headwind is First bit of civilization all day. Biddeford, an actual town. Let's have a look. Yes, oh. Oh, he's alive. Mark has just left me a voice message, so I'm going to see how he's getting on and work out whether I've got to pedal really fast or I can chill out for a little bit. So let's have a listen. Hey, I don't know if this will send right away. It's just before three o'clock. Um, to be honest, we are not making good progress. <laughs> it's just a block headwind. Um, I don't know, my power is like almost like 250 watts, and I'm God, I ride flipping hard and I just, yeah, go nowhere because of the wind. Anyway, um, we are in Exmoor at the moment. We probably have, well, like a little, well, a little over 60k left to go. Um, oh, okay. Not loving life because it's so bloody windy. Uh, uh, yeah, the control obviously slowed me down a bit, so I'm kind of trying to get my head down. 
crap on. But enjoy it, of course, because this was about his adventure so. This is like some sort of heaven. <laughs> it's tarmac and this tailwind is just going on and on. Give a thought to Mark. You can be honest, having a small sense of humour failure today. I think it's just because I'm on my own. Um, looking forward to meeting Heather in Barnstable where my front wheel feels like it's about to come off. And when I get to the top, it's a block headwind. Uh, and I've got to do a triathlon tomorrow. Now I know bikepacking is not supposed to be glamorous. However, I didn't quite think I'd find myself sat eating my lunch in a car park on the floor outside of a supermarket. I'm on my Todd now, because basically I'm taking too long. That cameraman has left me to go catch up with Heather and Heather is going to collect my tri suit on my behalf. Um, but my goodness, don't have I told you, but it's a heck of a headwind today. <laughs> managed to touch base with the team and basically Mark just thanks to his headwind is obviously a bit behind time. Um, so I'm waiting for the camera guys to come and meet me and then I'm going to cycle going to pick up the tri suit for myself and Mark from No Pins. Say hello to those guys and then I think we're hopefully going to meet at um, the next stop which will be a dry road and I'm guessing oh that might be them now. Better go. Okay I think by the fact that I found you guys on the motorbike means that I'm about to find Mark and probably more importantly our tri suits as well so we are just around the corner from No Pins I must admit, I didn't actually know that no pins meant that they design suits that don't need pins. Who knew? Uh, I guess it makes complete sense. But they've just gone into making tri suits, and um, I think this is their first triathlon suit that's out on the market. So I'm quite excited to get to try it. And I mean, they're not very heavy, but it has meant I guess we didn't have to carry it the whole way. Not only are these guys super local, so we're just outside Barnstable, where I've been waiting for a little while. Um, they're really close to the event, but. Um, they are also making their own attempts to be as green as possible. So I think the factory runs purely on green energy, so recyclable energy from wind. Probably does quite well on that, I imagine, on days like this. Oh, there they are. Hello. Hey, what kept you? We've got the whole um, commercial site to ourselves. You're not going to miss them either. Hello. Hey, hey lovely to meet well you. Done. Hi, thank, thank you. you. Oh, we're, not, we're not quite all the way, but we're at an important yeah. place. Yeah, so. you don't want to stop up here. Yeah, thank you. And this is going to be really going to come in handy tomorrow. It will be. Aero games. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. fine. And then also a. Um, oh, aero race bell. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. I mean, nice. after my cycling today, I'm not sure how much marginal gains are going to make a difference. <laughs> but, um, every little well, counts. I need everything. This is incredible. Yeah, this is amazing. This is, open. this is where all the action and the magic indeed. happens. So, this is where all the seamstresses are based. Wow. Printers over in the far corner, and then the designers are all upstairs. So yeah. the designs come down, they get nested to be printed, and then that's one of the, the fabrics there. The designs come across, they go onto paper, and it goes through the press, and then the laser cutters down here, which is where all the material comes out the other side. Yeah, so what do you what do you do with all of those? So all of this gets taken away by the recycling company oh, and they okay. sort through it. Mm. Um, anything that's deemed non-recyclable goes to the incinerator that then gets burned down to power Chidna Marine Base. And I'm I'm curious, so that's obviously what you do with some waste, but I've read a bit on your website that you yeah. work with a, a charity called the Bike Project. What what do they take from you then? So they take any of the returns, it can be a misprint, it can be something that's just not come out of the printer press, okay. um, but has fooled the garment. They then um, the project basically then sells some of those garments. Yeah. Um, most of it I think sells sold through eBay. Okay. And then they then with those funds buy bikes and then bikes then given away to basically anybody's um, families of cancer patients and yeah. Thank you so much. Now, unfortunately, we, uh, well, due to my slow riding and the headwind. It wasn't uh, your so slow riding, it was the weather. Let's blame the weather. We're anyway, British. we have missed the <laughs> registration. We have missed picking up our dry robes, so we have to head straight to the campsite and dry robe are kindly going to take you. our dry that robes. Our sleeping bags. Exactly. So, uh, we've and got, my a, towel. got another 15k, I think, isn't it? Is that all? Okay. No, maybe 10k. 10, 15k? Oh, I, I thought know. it was more than that. Oh, maybe it oh, is. Oh, oh, God. God. Yeah. Anyway, let's get going. <laughs> I 
relax and hear me, but I have company. <laughs> <laughs> so nice to have some company at that. You weren't hoping on getting like a draft though, were you? <laughs> Do you know? <laughs> I haven't been brave enough yet to like slip behind Mark's wheel because this is the first headwind I've had all day and he's had a headwind all day but it's pretty bad it. isn't it it's pretty bad I mean my mouth is getting dry just from like trying to talk into this headwind so yeah we are now both heading west the end destination is in sight Eight o'clock in the evening. Now just gone and we are rolling into the campsite. Oh Mark is still rolling. I am pushing. This is interesting race prep. I must admit I don't normally spend all day in the saddle just eating cream tea and a supermarket sandwich as uh, my race preparation but I can see barbecue once I eventually push this back up the hill. Could be fuel time. It's been worth it, these hours across the moor and for Mark, well, I've asked him, but into that headwind. Thanks to Jamie and his yeah. sous chef. And this is when the, the whole like thing of bike packing and adventure and making your own way to a triathlon just kind of feels like it's worth it. As you probably noticed, the light was fading and we ran out of time to go via the dry robe HQ. However, they took pity on us and personally delivered the kit directly to our campsite. Okay, this is experiment time. Stroke bedtime, I am so excited to get into my bed. <laughs> yeah, slightly apprehensive because it's a little claustrophobic, I feel. And I'm really hoping it stays up because it's all little balanced. I'm not sure road bikes with fine wheels are designed for this, but I might have to say goodbye now because I don't think I'm going to see me again. There's <laughs> nothing elegant about this. Oh my God. I actually, that feels <laughs> so tiny. Have a look in there. Can you see? Like, <laughs> like where? Oh, it's horrible. Oh my God. Oh, well, I guess it's cozy. It just, yeah. This is, this is me. <laughs> Night guys. I can't really even get changed or anything in here. It's, oh, it's touching me. It's touching me everywhere. That's horrible. Heather's already uh, fast asleep over there in a little, uh, little coffin, little tent. <laughs> um, me and Marika are in here. Had some lovely friends come along this evening. Um, absolutely, just, well, legends. They got us our food because we were running late, started cooking it before we even arrived here. So thank you so much to them. But time to get into our beds and go to sleep. Let's go. See ya. I'm not looking forward to sitting on this saddle again. <laughs> Gotta say, feeling pretty groggy this morning. Found Jamie, Good morning. barbecue connoisseur last night. How are you feeling? Cold. <laughs> it's not, a bit nippy. Not looking forward to the extra run. Yeah, the swim has been cancelled. Um, yeah, pretty windy yesterday, last night. Swells fairly big. Uh, I would have preferred to swim there. Uh, here we go. Okay, I am still quite gutsy that we're not getting in the water. The waves do look quite big because we're down here, but I'm cold and I just like want my wetsuit on and I feel like the swim is when I wake up and it's like, then okay, I've done my thing, ready to get to class. My arms are the only thing that isn't tired, so yeah, this is going to be a little bit of a jog to warm up. Get ready! Yeah. Take your bath! <laughs> Heather's off 
In fact, she's out onto the bike, I think, guys, by now. On the last way. Sorry about that. Next year, next year. Right. So we have got a Not feeling fully up this, but. Down the beach on the right hand. Thank you, Ross. How painful it is to sit on a bike saddle. Oh my god. I'm almost looking forward to the hills so I can give my bottom a rest. I'm not conditioned to cycling. And that run was so hideous. It felt like some sort of torture. now, so I was keeping an eye out for Mark's try seat, spotted him. Now I guess I have to get my head down again. Past halfway, on the way back. Although, I'm really hoping Mark doesn't get PTSD because there's a headwind on the way home. Didn't notice the tailwind. Straight out of transition, straight uphill. Oh my God. I'm so tired. I sat down in transition and I wasn't sure I'd get up again. This is, it's like some sort of comical torture. Two to three k's to go. Oh, what a beautiful race there. Oh, this is absolutely incredible. Oh, Almost there, pick it up. Arms in the air, Mark. That's it. Well done, sir. Top marks. So we started this morning. So yeah, heading back to the finish line. I actually have a tailwind, and I don't think there's too many more hills. Just a nice case of pass. I'm going to try and see if I can jog most of it and try and. Give a smile, I'll put a smile on my face. That's how I get to the tension. Well, well done, Heather. Arms in the air as you go coming to the video, that's it. Show us you've enjoyed it. Look happy, for goodness sake. It's not good for advertising next year if you look beautiful. That's it, well done. We just need lots of happy people. <laughs> Heather's from Bath. We did it. <laughs> yeah, what a weekend. How, how are you feeling? Uh, yeah, pretty broken actually. Uh, I think I said it during the video, um, during the race, that I just wanted to go to sleep. You can soon. Yeah. We're, almost, we're almost done. I don't know we're trying to sell it. And I mean, the no, actual it's event not. itself is just such fun and there's such a great community here, isn't there? And like everyone's supporting and that, that final hill when I saw the finish was like, yeah. It <laughs> gen not? Genuinely, like it. it's been, I mean, I know we've been quite tired. It was hard work, but I've had such a blast yeah. and just everyone coming in and helping and supporting. Like it really does. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think we could make it quite hard for ourselves. Just like <laughs> okay. that ride over was, um, <laughs> A lot harder than it should have been, um, well, and yeah, yeah really, so sure. I'm feeling it a bit now. I mean, I sure. just love the fact that, like, obviously, you know, we've we teamed up with Dry Rubber No Pins for this, but like they're part of this community, and like yeah. everybody knows everybody, and everyone's got the same kind of like trying to just protect this beautiful landscape. I mean, look at the ocean behind us; it's just stunning. Yeah. And I think um, that's just really cool. I wish it looked like that this morning. Yeah. <laughs> we could have got to swim, but we might have to come back next year and do the full thing. Yeah, maybe. I've got to say, I'm enjoying this right now because um, it's quite breezy and uh, cold posters. Yeah. This might become a, a staple in my kit bag. And it for... also makes a good pillow. 
Yeah, yeah. Comes well, in a little bag and it yeah. says, if, if you are traveling as light as we were traveling yeah. to. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it, this is awesome fun. Uh, hopefully it's inspired a few of you out yeah. there to give something like this a go. Maybe don't do 180K with 3,000 meters of elevation yeah. into a block headwind. The but, night before. Yeah, but otherwise, <laughs> definitely give this a go. Yeah. I think we need to try and get home now. Yeah. Or find some friends. I, uh... I might have to take a rain check on this one, Heather. You're going to leave me. I mean, I never I know, I'm like, I never I, I might give it a go, but honestly, yesterday oh. broke me, and I, I think the last few weeks has been pretty full on with our uh, filming, and I, um, I actually just feel a bit unwell, if I'm going to be honest. Oh. I might, I, I well, might, well I'll give it a crack. Well done for being honest. No, don't, <laughs> don't break yourself. Um, I mean, I'm going to take my time. Good. So, and have yeah, yeah. lots of food stops. I yeah, think. yeah. Um, well, yeah. well done. Good well work. Done. Yeah. yeah, and we did quite well. We both got on the podium oh, yeah. in our age groups. Have you got us? Uh, oh, them, I um, took mine off. I'm like, yeah. Okay, it came fourth silver. overall. You came eighth overall. Both came second in our age groups. Yay! <laughs> Back to the win next year. All right. By train. Come on then. Let's do it. I'm still going. Oh yeah. Just in case you were worrying about me, I'm sure you weren't. I made it. I am home. I'm broken. But I did it. Give us a like.